All right, here's a full guide to reloading wooden projectile Swedish Mauser 6.5 times 55 from training ammo into good practice ammo. Here are these are spear 90 grain TNT that I made uh, approximately 3,000 feet per second. Unfortunately, those bullets are unavailable and, you know, you're spending 20, 30 cents on powder and 20, 30 cents on the bullet. So it's expensive. Um, lead, however, these are 15 cents, okay? Powder, if you use unique, you get 1400 feet per second and you're only gonna use 10 grains of powder, so one pound will give you 700 shots it's extremely affordable how this wooden ammo comes uh they want you to buy the 4800 crate for 200 dollars. there's 4800 of them so it would be 24 of these they got 200 in them they're sealed uh it was made in the 90s okay let's go over how they make it what the Swedish did was they would reuse their brass. They always saved their brass and they would grade it every time they fired it. And then the final, the final firing is a projectile and they throw it away. It's still much better than most brass. You're going to, I mean, it looks kind of cruddy, but it is still better and capable of loading one more full power around. Um, you can't really reload it because it's Bernan primed, but you can see the dates on the head stamp here. 1955, 1973, 1956, 1956, 1957. Traditional loading, uh, you pull the bullet. I would um, trim, I'd trim these all to length chamfered them, uh, deburred them, and loaded them. Uh, first, I run it through a 6.5. Uh, it's not a sizing die. That way you don't use any, it's a neck sizer. No lubrication, just run it through the neck sizer and then seat it, okay? For the wooden, it gets tricky for the lead bullets. Here's the powder. You take, okay, here's what, it comes in a box. Get them like that. Take a pair of vice grips, pinch it till you hear it crack, and then twist it, and it comes right out. Slowly twist it out. This is what you get. Uh, if you're a little too over exertion on it, you'll break it. Um, but it's easy to get it out, even if you break it. Uh, it just takes more time. It's just a wooden projectile that they painted orange. Here's the powder. Dump that in your garden or your yard for fertilizer. Don't know what it is at all. There's 24 grains of it, whatever it is. It looks a lot like unique, but I'm not going to find out what it is. Okay. So these bullets I'm using... Quality cast, these were like 20 bucks for a hundred, or actually it was like 16 bucks for a hundred. Uh, that's the company, quality cast, gas checked, flat point, 150 grain, size to 266. Now the thing is, it has a gas check on it. Let me see if I can find it. I got some here. So it's 266 where you seat it. But the gas check is probably 0.1, so 267. So getting that gas checked, okay, these are 264 and they go in like butter. And they hold good neck tension. Getting that 267 into that hole is difficult. So what I did on these 10 was I simply popped the gas check off. And I seated them without doing any extra work. I didn't even trim them. I just made sure they were acceptable length. And I put them straight in. 
Uh, if you don't get them perfectly straight, they will shave lead. So you have to be very careful. These have the gas checks on them. And how you do that is you buy the Lee Expander. Okay, here's the Lee Expander. 20 bucks. It comes with the expansion. And it seems like you have to uh, adjust it quite a bit and play with it. And you can't just set it and forget it. So what you do is you go to NOE Bullet Molds. They're, they have a website. And this is a 266 times 262 plug, okay? This is a different one for like a ah, British or something. Anyway, we'll pretend that it's a 262. 262, 266 times 262. See how it has a step in it? It's actually right there, not the big step. This little step here. So this part is 262 for the neck tension. And then 267, so you can seat, okay? So you have to get it just right. I have it adjusted so it's perfect that it flares it out just a little bit at the end. I don't know if you can see it. It's still chambers, but... It's just enough flare that you can get the gas check in there and seat the bullet. It's still a tight fit, which is good. All right, so I made these out. Let's see what they do. I want to see the comparison. For ease of reloading, I'd like to not have to expand them. But if it's a lot more accurate, I will continue to expand them. So we're gonna go outside, I'll make a part two of shooting it. This is just part one, an overview of how to, the process you need to do. Thank you for watching.